This is question number 12. And we are told line AB drawn below is a side of a trapezium ABCD. Uh, so we have our line AB, it is indicated, it is 8 cm. Uh, part A using a ruler and a pair of compasses only complete a trapezium ABCD in which AB is parallel to DC. Uh, angle B A D. So we have uh, we should have uh, our A D here, uh, uh, D C ladder. Angle B A D. Uh, B A D is 67. So we have that angle there is 67, uh, 67.5. Uh, then we have A D. So we have our D there. This is just a sketch. So we have our D, and we have been told that A D is parallel to. Uh, DC uh, so we have uh, BC is 5.5 so we can put uh, this is 5.5 and this is 5 centimeter this is 5 centimeter and these two lines are uh, parallel so that is uh, and we are told that angle ABC is acute uh, a acute angle is an angle that is uh, less than 90 uh, so that is the information given and we are supposed to use a ruler and a pair of compass so you follow the instructions uh, so that is my ruler and my pair of compass uh, you have to follow those instructions you don't use any other instrument because what is being tested is can you be able to make measurements for example a d b c uh, can you construct an angle of 67.5 uh, using these two instrument so I'm going to wrap this to show that uh, to show how you go about it so let's have first of all uh, we have we have uh, okay this will come later let's look at this angle 67.5 angle 67.5 how do you construct angles uh, 67.5 uh, if you multiply 67.5 you multiply by 2 you'll be able to get 0 uh, this is 140 uh, this is uh, this is 10 carry one uh, 14 15 uh, carry one this is uh, 12 uh, 13 uh, is it that uh, no 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 that's uh, that is 135 uh, we have one decimal place there so the angle is 135 so we have uh, angle 180 degrees if we subtract angle 135 uh, we have we have uh, four meaning that uh, to construct this angle we can uh, construct angle 45 here and how do we construct angle 45 what you do is you extend that you make a mark there you make a mark there so we are using this mark we, what we want to do here is to construct an angle of 90 then after that we bisect that angle so using this mark you make a mark there and using that so you'll be able to draw an angle of uh, 90 degrees let's, say, let's assume that is uh, 90 uh, we draw it like that so with that now we can uh, we can use this we can bisect this angle using this point you make a mark there and a mark there you make using this you make a mark here using this so you also again uh, be able to get that angle uh so with that since we have bisected angle one, one, uh, one, uh, one 90 then this angle is 45 and you see we have seen here uh then this angle the whole of this angle is 135 degrees if we bisect this angle then we end up with angle 60 that is if you divide 135 by 2 you'll be able to get 67.5 so that's what we are going to do uh so you use uh, uh, you use this mark i can use a different color for you to see that you use that and you make a mark there you bisect using you using this um, you make a mark there you make a mark there and then uh, what do you do you 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 can use your ruler and draw a line so what uh to, to make it uh, uh different then this is what we have our so our dc will lie on this line uh from there we are told that a we have been given ad is uh, five centimeter 
So you use your campus extend and use your ruler, you measure five centimeters. So let's say that is where you get our just as an example. So this is where our D is. Once you identify your D, uh, we need to draw a we need to draw a parallel line that is DC is parallel to AB. How do we draw a parallel line? You pick your your campus. You, you draw a perpendicular and how do you do that uh, you extend your campus and uh, make two marks there using those two marks using this one you make a mark there using this one you make a mark there then what it means is that if you join these two points uh, they will be able to they, they will give you a, 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 an angle a, a line that is perpendicular to AB because it, we have dropped a perpendicular then for you to be able to get uh, then a line that is perpendicular to this will be parallel to ad so using this point you make a mark there you make a mark there you make a mark a mark there and uh, what you do is uh, now you come up with a line that is parallel to ad uh, because we have been given the length of bc you extend your campus to, to the mark where you get 5.5 .5. So you extend your campus here. This is where you have our C. Uh, then uh, uh, you can be able to, you can be able, okay, let's draw this line. Uh, let's use a different color. Uh, so you draw like that. So that is our, uh, our line DC. And then you, you extend here and that is where you find your C. So that is the kind of uh, diagram that is expected. So this is a sketch for explanation uh, because I have not used uh, my instrument here uh, because uh, using a computer may not, may not be give us the correct uh, uh, or if during the explanation we may not get the exact figure. Uh, so we move to the next page. So when you use your, your ruler and a compass, this is what you get. This line is parallel to that. This is 5.5 centimeter and that. So you are being tested. This angle is 67.5 degrees. So you are being, that is what is being tested. Are you able to construct angles 67.5 using a ruler and a compass? And uh, with that, you'll be able to get uh, three marks. So measure the length of DC. This is our DC. Using your ruler and a compass, you extend your compass here for this cd and or dc and you press it on a ruler and you'll be able to read the measurements so when i did that i uh, corrected i got 32 this is 32 point not 32 sorry it is uh, uh it is a uh, 3.2 uh, plus or minus plus or minus uh, 0. Point, uh, that is 0. Point uh, one zero point one so and this is centimeter so this is three point uh, two plus or minus uh, zero point one so that's how you work out that uh, uh, question uh, remember you don't use for example you don't use a protractor to measure this angle because you will not be able to to get the max because uh, you are being tested whether you know how to uh, construct angles uh, and you have to know how do you maneuver like the way we have said if you multiply by two you get one that uh, one uh, one is that five so that's how we came up with angle 145 so you are left with 135 which we bisected and by doing that then you'll be able to score uh, five marks i hope you have uh, understood the question you can try it on your own use your uh, uh, mathematical set instruments to be able to do that.